Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna show you everything that I got from the grocery store. I look like crap. Ah! So that's why I'm not gonna be in this video. I'm just gonna show you all the things that I got. So many people want me to do like what I eat in a week. So if you wanna see that, please give this a thumbs up and I will give you like even a cooking tutorial if I'm cooking the food, how I'm preparing it, not just showing you the dish. So if you wanna see that, please give me a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below. And if you have not already, subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any requests, leave those in the comments down below as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my vegetables just because they've been sitting in here. And I'm just gonna to try to get through all of this stuff because I have quite a bit of quite a bit of things that I need to show you guys. I have this on deck because I was actually boiling some some eggs to make some hard boiled eggs. So I just put them right back into their container until they're ready to be peeled and eaten. So these bags are wax dipped tote bags that I got off of Etsy. I'm sure you can DIY this yourself, but I don't have time for that girl, so I just bought them. They're actually pretty pretty expensive, but they've lasted me such a long time and I get compliments on them all the time. Every single time that I go to the market, I am always um, asked where I got these. So it's Etsy. I'll, le I'll leave the um, link in the description box down below. They did not pay me for these. I wish they did because these are so damn expensive, but um, they're definitely worth it. So I'm gonna start with all of my produce. So I have some cilantro, which is the bomb. I love cutting this up and putting this in tuna salad or um, in just regular green salads. It gives it a nice little punch. Also, if you have um, a soup, you can chop this up with some tomato and some onions and throw it in a soup to make it a little bit more hearty. So I'll show you guys that in my what I eat in a week if you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah, I love cilantro and it's so cheap. One bundle, you can get two for a dollar, just depends on where you shop. I also got some celery, which is really, really tasty. It's good for you. It's packed with a lot of nutrients and vi vitamins and um, it tastes really good if you chop it up into small little pieces. And you can put these in your lunch or have them for a snack with hummus or with peanut butter. Really, really, really good. Um, I also have a purple onion, which I put in almost all of my salads. It's just so good. I also got some Mexican squash. I got a couple of zucchinis as well. I got a few heads of broccoli. All of the produce you see, it they're all organic, and I'm not trying to be like obnoxious. It's just that it's just a better situation. Um, just, I don't know, no dyes or anything crazy in the water to make them plump and juicy. I also got a dragon fruit. These are so freaking expensive. These ones are $8.99 a pound. So if you can find a store that sells them per piece, just grab the big fat juicy one. I've purchased one of these not knowing that they're by the pound and I spent like $17 on one before. It was ridiculous. I also got some asparagus. A little tip for those of you who see things by the pound and you have a small family like me, um, they usually have like really thick, bulky bundles. I just take out, you know, whatever I need and pay for what only what I'm gonna use. So they trick you, just like those bags of grapes. You don't need to buy the whole giant bag of grapes. Just take out whatever you need because they're gonna go bad if you have a small family. So I just made my little bundle smaller and it's cheaper. I also got a handful of limes. I don't know about you guys, but I need limes for my drink and also for like homemade dressings and things like that. So this one I wanted to get to really quick because I have a few things that need to be um, put in the refrigerator or the freezer, I should say, and that are these fruit bars and then also some shrimp, which I like to keep on hand. This is a really quick way to have some protein in your diet. I'm currently a pescatarian, but we're moving towards paleo diet, so yeah. We're doing um, shrimps, and then I have these little veggie bars. They're so good. I think those are the only two things that needed to be in the freezer. Also got some new goldfish crackers. Jude picked those ones out. I also got this um, cookie butter. I like the prefer. I prefer the one from Trader Joe's, but I wasn't about to go to two stores today because I just got back from San Francisco. So hopefully this tastes, uh, you know, just as good. I also got some pickle spears, which is great for a little side when you're packing a sandwich. I also got both chocolate milk and regular milk, white milk, which I can't have either of these because my stomach will just totally explode, but both um, Jude and his daddy love milk, so I have to be fair. I got small cans of the original V8 and then also spicy V8. Those are good in a Michelada. 
and I got some sliced pepperoncinis. Yum. I also got a couple of juices. One is beets. I think this is the beet medley, beet orange and lemon. And then this one is coconut water, pineapple, mango, avocado, and lemon. These are really good, but actually like super expensive. Not as expensive as pressed juicery, but pretty damn expensive. Next bag, I have um, sandwich thins, and I'm getting these instead of the Hawaiian bread little, I forget what they're called, the Hawaiian rolls, but I usually get the subs for Jude, but I switched to these sandwich thins, which are whole grain, and they're a lot smaller and easier to pack than thick white bread for sandwiches for his lunch. I also got some cheese. These were two for $7, and these are so freaking expensive. If you guys have ever bought a package of string cheese or a sharp cheddar, they're like 5 or $6 for like six damn cheeses. So this is a really good deal. It's two for seven, so I got sharp cheddar, and then I also got string cheese. Jude has to have his little deli meats, and he loves picking them out from the deli. So I got some sharp cheddar slices, and I got some turkey, and then also some ham. This is a lot cheaper and fresher if you go and get them sliced at the deli. You know, it takes a little bit extra time, but it's so much cheaper, and you can try um, different types of meat instead of just sticking to one. One packet of meat, like this one, would have been like seven or eight dollars, and at the deli it's two dollars and twenty-five cents, so I was able to get um, ham, turkey, and also cheese for the price of one pre-packaged, you know, deli selection. I also got some um, bagels, which are Jude's favorite. I got some cheese. This is so good. My mouth started watering. Cheese and olives. This is perfect to just grab a bunch of this and put it in a salad, toss it up. Or you can also put this in a smaller little um, jar or little container and put this on a cheese board or something. So delicious, you guys. I also got some foil. Boring. These are so good. Um, it's like rose water, one's peach and one's mango. I've had this before. This is my second time getting them and they are so good. So I had to try the other flavors. I also got some cream cheese. Um, some more salt and pepper. I, I use salt and pepper like on a daily basis for everything. For seasoning, you know, um, vegetables or even pasta, tossed in olive oil, like just so much. This is my, my go-to. I think it's everybody's like favorite seasoning. It's like so easy and that's why it's on every countertop at a restaurant. I also got our favorite um, cold brew iced coffee, which I need to start doing myself, but I just haven't had the time to, you know, go and buy a really nice bag of coffee. I also have some grass-fed beef and some steak. It's really small pieces. I'm going to cut it up and put over a salad or something. Jude is still a meat eater, so I'm not going to take that away from him. I also got some nuts, which um, Jude's dad likes in his lunches, so got some nuts here, and they're really good and they sustain you to your next meal so you're not like overeating or having like a fourth meal. Um, I got some relish, and I really, really love the Vlastic this is the dill relish. It's like a bunch of pickles smushed up. So that's why I like this one. Better than the sweet relish. It's so gross. And a couple of cans of tuna, which is Jude's favorite. Jude loves tuna sandwiches. I don't know about you guys, but I always put the bread inside of the refrigerator because it lasts longer. I know it takes two seconds for it to get into like its room temperature state, but if you leave it out, it kind of um, goes like moldy or soggy or warms up inside of the bags, especially if you're cooking um, on the stove top and you have a small kitchen like I do. So I always keep these inside of um, the refrigerator on the top shelf. Next up, we have some more greens. I have a Persian cucumber and I have some baby arugula, which is like one of my favorite got a bunch of avocados. Oh mm, my gosh. Avocado toast is so good. I also got nectarines, apples, um, let's see. I have baby spinach and also baby romaine and a tropical, or I think this is called a strawberry papaya, so I'm interested to see how this is. I typically get um, Hawaiian papaya. I don't know how girls can eat that. Mexican papaya smells so nasty. Ugh. Tricks you because you think it's a, a, you know, you think you think it's watermelon, but it's not. You're like, Ugh. 
over here I have a, a box full of crack of course because I have a bunch of nice healthy things I have to balance it out and let Jude eat let him live he's he loves cinnamon toast crunch and so does his dad so I'm gonna get well I obviously bought it I'm gonna get that I got that for him he actually smashed so many things trying to hide it because he knew that I, I told him to make a good choice and this is what he picked out, but hey, letting him live. I also got a bunch of berries, some strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries, and some bananas. Bananas, which I'm probably gonna have one for like a midday snack because I'm so hungry. The worst thing to do is go to the market hungry. And then last but not least, I got some Honest Kids grape juice for Jude's lunches. And then also, I forgot to bring my huge jug with me, but I got a little small jug of alkaline water. So that's it. I need to stop looking like crap. I need to go get my life together. Um, and I got black coffee, black extra iced coffee from um, Starbucks because Vons has Starbucks inside. So that's always a plus. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be putting a list of everything I got today, so if you want to copy and paste it and take it to the market with you if you're interested in trying anything that I tried, um, I'll provide that as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give me some... <laughs> don't forget to give me some love, like, share, and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!